What's up, residents? It's your mayor of Dangerville, Alistair, back once again with some news I think will make you all very happy. Be wary, there will be light spoilers, but we know as much about the new Empire story as you do. As you probably all remember, Mothra, the iconic monster from Toho's classic films, made her entrance into the MonsterVerse in Godzilla, King of the Monsters. And she was beautiful. With a bioluminescent glow, she really gave off the impression of a godlike entity, almost like Godzilla's very own guardian angel, here to assist the King of the Monsters whenever he needs it. She became a highlight of that film, really just adding that emotional factor, especially with her death, which still makes me weep every time. And in typical Mothra tradition, her death did not symbolize the end of this character for the series. For in the credits, we found she laid an egg, which holds her memories from her previous life, meaning she will return if Legendary wants to pay for the licensing rights. So we waited for Godzilla vs. Kong. We hyped ourselves up thinking what she was going to do. And then the film came and nothing. So whilst we got another classic titan in the form of Mechagodzilla, Mothra was nowhere to be seen. So Jacob and I were sad face. But with Godzilla Kong on the horizon, we crossed our fingers and hoped that the Queen of the Monsters would return. But didn't expect much since it sounded like the film would feature all original MonsterVerse titans, which was likely a cost-saving method. Licensing the rights for classic kaiju is expensive after all. So we waited, and rumors that a another guardian monster that was kind of like Mothra but wasn't really Mothra started surfacing. And it just made me want her more. I couldn't stop thinking about this beautiful creature and her abdomen. I was going crazy in my dark basement in the Dangerville dungeons. I needed answers! But not long ago, we heard whispers from the ether that a certain fluffy insect monster would be returning for the new empire. But there's a catch. First, let's discuss Phosphora. Don't worry, this is important. Quite a while ago, we heard that a bird-like titan would be assisting Godzilla in combat, something with a godlike aura, something majestic, beautiful, but deadly. Sounds similar, right? Well, not too long ago, an actual image from the film leaked, and it was none other than this titan, called Phosphora, which in of itself already sounds like Mothra. Seems like from the get-go this was always intended to be a kind of store brand replacement for the Queen of the Monsters, to just save the studio some money. And since this titan isn't going to actually be in the film, I guess it should be fine to show you. So this is what would have been known as Phosphora. And it's certainly an interesting design. Not the bird-like titan that was rumored, looks far more alien. Can't say I'm much of a fan, to be honest. Doesn't really fit the MonsterVerse vibe. And it seems like test audiences agreed because they didn't like it either. So Wingard and the team over at Legendary went back to the drawing board to figure out how to make the test audiences happier. So they've gone and replaced Phosphora with Mothra. Now, we reported on the rumor quite a while ago now, but we didn't have any solid evidence to back it up. But now, thanks to some Godzilla Kong merch, we can see a keychain which I believe says Mothra Reborn, taking a new, brighter, more angelic form, not yet grown her threatening colors from King of the Monsters, she takes a more rose quartz colored appearance, similar to Godzilla actually. So she may also have been influenced by the hollow earth radiation. One thing I'm hoping for is that she's fluffier than her King of the Monsters counterpart. She looked great, but she was pretty scary looking. I miss some of that softness from the older designs, but it's hard to tell how much of the design has really changed outside of the color palette since the images are so low resolution. They may very well have just taken the model from King of the Monsters and altered the textures a bit. Now what will her role in the film be? Clearly she'll be a support role, something that comes along to assist Godzilla in battle. And based on the leaked image of Phosphora, she will appear in the Egypt battle, since we can see she's clearly launching herself from the Sphinx, where Kong and Godzilla will most likely battle Shimo the frost titan that the Scar King is using to take over the planet. I've seen some people believing that this scene in the Hollow Earth civilization is actually them trying to wake up Mothra to assist Godzilla and Kong, which could very well be likely. 
I don't really expect Mothra to show up that much or have that much of an integral role. Considering this sounds like a decision made in the final few months of post-production, they likely just took the animations of Phosphora and parented them to the Mothra model, so I don't think she'll be as important as her mystical role in King of the Monsters, where her history and mythology was integral in her presentation. So I'm keeping my hopes low for now, but I really hope she does show up for more than one scene. I'd kill for another nighttime bioluminescent set piece. She just looks so good there. But if you're going to have Mothra, do her justice. Don't just give her a cameo. That said, give my boy Rodan a cameo. Where's he been? Are you hyped to see Mothra in Godzilla Kong? Would you like to see her design change at all? Let us know in the comment section down below. We have some new footage of the new Empire to show you, so subscribe and stomp the notification button to not miss out on that video when it releases. And be sure to give this video a big Kong-sized thumbs up. I've been Alistair, and we'll see you residents in the next one.